Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Well, are you ready? Sure, we're ready, Bill. This is Jackson County, and uh, I tell you what we do here is we enjoy preserving the past and also a lot of the county history is here. So that's, that's what we really enjoy at this part of the fair. That's Bill Edlin riding up high on that 1949 8N and taking a leisurely turn through yesteryear in the Jackson County Fair Village. Now, you may have heard some tall tales about tractors before, but this, well, this is a really tall tractor tale, and it's all true. The fellow that owned this and farmed right close here, I think he bought it in the 60s. His name is Verlin. Verlin, where'd you get that tractor? Well, he says, I bought it out of Mankato. He went up there and hauled it home behind my car on a little trailer. They said it couldn't be done, but he said I did it. <laughs> and he used it for many, many years. Then, one winter, the Ford's engine block froze and cracked. So Verlin Jones put the tractor on stilts in a shed and forgot about it. Until one day long after, an old friend of Bill's came along. Well, my friend Delbert Williams, the fellow that restored it, went to see him one day. And he said, he said to Verlin, I'd like to buy your tractor, your high boy sprayer. Verlin says, well, it ain't for sale. You can't buy it. Well, he says, why not? Well, he says, I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> Once he got a hold of it, Delbert Williams made the unique tractor on stilts good as new. And when Delbert passed away, his wife made the tractor a gift to the Jackson County Fair in his honor. We, we sure miss him, but this is one of the things his family did uh, kind of in memory of Delbert so that people would remember him, you know, so this is this this was very nice to the family to donate this piece of equipment to the county fair. He was proud of all these tractors, but uh, he he was probably really proud of this thing because it was something different, you know, the tractor restorers have a tendency to look some to look for something a lot of them that's unique or odd. Unique? Odd? You betcha. Those words fit this tall tractor. Of course, up on top, it's the very popular Ford 8N, handy as heck for any kind of farm chore. It's a real common tractor. The tractor part itself is a real common. They made lots and lots and lots of them. But what about the stilts? Where'd they come from? It was made, it was called the Tractor Stilts Company out of Omaha, Nebraska. So this fellow out of Omaha designed the bottom part of it, and then he mounted a Ford tractor up there. But he, he he designed and built this frame set up and everything to put this tractor up so you could go ahead and spray your crops after they got got up in the air quite a way. You know, they got too tall for your pull type sprayers. For my dad, we used to walk the fields with a sprayer, a small hand sprayer, and uh, we, uh, and that's how, how we did it, because there wasn't such a thing as this. But uh, no doubt it was a way ahead of its time. Merle Peterson's Tractor Stilts Company long ago faded into history. Even though the idea of using a high boy spray rig to get over the top of your crop and take out weeds and corn borers eventually caught on. It's pretty simple and basic, because I had a, a an old high boy sprayer back in the 70s as a commercial one, commercial production, and that had it set up like that, chains up up to the drive part of it. One of the things you see here is that originally the front wheels were up here. Well, then they built the stilts to, to get the height on it. And the front part probably wasn't so hard, but if you walk around here to the back, you see that the wheels here were up we used to be here. Getting on this thing, you know, the guy that restored it, this is just a piece off in a windmill tower, a ladder for a windmill, but I don't know if they had anything on them or not. To start with, a lot of them didn't. You just figured out how to crawl up on, on the thing. I suppose the biggest factor is, you know, you're up in the air and you have to be careful going in and out of ditches or on side hills, tremendously high center of gravity. Uh, the nice part about it was you, you know, you could see what you're doing, which, which was rather nice. 
Nice indeed. Thanks, Bill. And thanks to the Delbert Williams family for making this unusual piece of farming's past one of the star attractions at Minnesota's Jackson County Fair.